Let's go. That's cool. <laughs> Forgive me my boldness, but are you that guy? I am that guy. It's a nice Tifa glam over there. Then my search is at an end. A begottled gentleman tasked me to find you, you see, in hopes of entreating your aid with some matter he deigned not share with me. Ah, I love those jobs. The ones they don't tell you about. I love that. Pray remain here and I shall fetch him at once. Okay. Am I really? I don't know. Am I? Sometimes I don't know who I am. It's a mystery. Greetings, champion. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's Magni. He found me. Greetings, champion. Oh, it's, thank God. It's not a dwarf. Hi, Yoshi P. How are you doing today? It is I who employed the young adventurer to facilitate them pr this impromptu audience. As for the why, I have a request that you and you alone can fulfill. Pray listen well, for my tale begins with the most unsettling dream. I love dreams. Tell me your dreams, Yoshi P. Did I behold the evening skies, boundless and shimmering? As I drank deep in its beauty, I spied two stars sailing across the inky expanse. One a purest white, the other blushing scarlet. Their courses set such that might pass without collision. Sharply and suddenly, the scarlet star shifted its trajectory. High above a burning landscape did its path intersect with that of the white star, their conjunction marked by a brilliant explosion of light. Even in slumber, I was awestruck by the spectacle. But what does it mean, Yoshi P? Chaos, yes. To be told, my own interpretation wavers. My rational mind says meaningless dream, whilst my artist's soul insists on prophecy. Of course! Of course! It's always a prophecy. Whatever greater meaning this vision might hold, I am convinced. The blazing white star represents the warrior of light. In other words, you. I am pretty blazing. 420. Should these portents indeed foretell future events, you are thus fated to encounter the Scarlet Star. Whoever they may be, tis me. The one in the red. I therefore humbly request that you accompany me to the burning land for my dream, that I might witness this vision's taint. Compensate you for your trouble, of course. Oh, good. I love compensation. is which territory now yours it might be considered burning metaphorically or otherwise the battle either remember is where I battled Efrit while its relation to flame cannot be denied mine instincts tell me nay the scene for my dream was more rigid than bold giant flickering outcrop of crystal mayhem? Of course! Ah, the cluster of immense crystals born of the seventh of the calamity. I and well resents the sweeping scene of, from my dream. The first mystery is solved. He has Yoshi P rings, that's awesome. Shall leave for eastern Thanalan and the infamous burning wall at once. To the wall of burning! Well, like that. Um, I'll be all right. Never mind. I'll snap it next time. I'll snap that next time. Hi, Cloud. I found him, guys. I found Cloud. Burning wall. Apt name indeed. Tis said these crystalline structure structures were formed when falling shards of Dalaman pierced the land's ethereal current. Yes. Yes, indeed. Some of them, some see them as a symbol of rebirth, a manifestation of renewed life. That is neither here nor there. Let's have a look around, shall we? Spy glasses at the ready. Yes. Let's go. Am I leaving Yoshi B? What am I doing? There it is, I couldn't see it. People. Let's see.
Hello. <laughs> hey, there's a dude down there. Well, he's dead. He's a mood. He is a mood, isn't he? Damn! They did good with his model. trail update early. A dream led you to me. I understand how absurd that may sound. We ourselves were unsure of what awaited us here. As we are, I am content to be known as the minstrel. This stalwart hero is a K. Lionheart. Might be the pleasure of one, eh? Clive, I... The last thing I remember was the ruins. Yes. Damn, they did good with his model! Holy shit. My head. Where, how did I come to be in this place? I blame Omega and his portal opening. It should seem you are not senseless. Confusion is to be expected. For safety's sake, I suggest we make the town and have a... Doctor! <laughs> Look you over. I'm not even going to try to say that word. I shall see our patients receive proper treatment. Would you mind waiting for us at Scholar's Walk? Sure. <laughs> Poor Clive. <laughs> yeah. Shoot, if that's what we've got to look forward to, then hot damn. Our foundling is being cared for as we speak, and I'm told he should be released soon. Hopefully it was not that a bite of food and a little bed rest can cure. Some proto version of it. It's possible. It is possible. Hi, Clive. Welcome back. It was kind of you to wait. Thank you. What of your condition? Much improved. Physicam also noted no signs of injury or illness. Damn, my model looks good. But my memories remain hazy. How did I end up here? Whatever I was doing, it was important. I'm sure it must return as soon as possible. I see. We cannot leave him in the state. We must help him restore his memories and find his way home. What of the city, Clive? Do any parts of old Dar strike you as familiar? No. Maybe I've simply forgotten, but I recognize nothing. Hmm. Not old Dar, then. Still, I would like to think that the sights and sounds of well-known lo locale will hasten your recovery. The Burning Wall, the place where we found you, is situated midway betwixt Uldar and Gridania. Perhaps a trip to the Twelve's Wood is in order? Gridania, you say? That name rings no bells, but I have no better suggestions. And you would take me there? Sure, buddy. Don't know who you are, but I'll like you. Meanwhile, I shall make the rounds of the neighboring settlements and ask if any have heard of you. Let us rendezvous in Gridania anon. Come on, Clive, let me show you this really big crystal thing over here. It's awesome. Are we 
ready? Then let's head out. This Gridania the minstrel mentioned is, is afar. Well, we need mounts. Ah! By airship? You have those? Not that I mean to doubt you, friend. If you say we're boarding an airship, then that's what we'll do. Oh, you'll like it. We only used it a couple of times, and then we could fly everywhere. No, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> uh, Crimson, if I may ask a foolish question, do these airships of yours actually fly? Yep. A foolish question indeed. Your expression tells me as much. First time traveling by airship? I believe it will be. It's odd. None of the weapon on my back is called a sword. I understood what it's for and how to wield it. Foggy as my memories may be, my general knowledge seems intact. But hearing you speak of functional airships, I felt confusion, disbelief. Something you clearly think of as commonplace. I can make no sense of it. Where was I before now? You really wish Ben Stark could have voiced him? Oh, am I doing that bad of a job? Thanks. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> ah, but dwelling on this is pointless. Forward is the only way. Remember the only bouts we could fly were like two chocobos and a glider? I do. I do remember those days. I do remember those days. To feel the bracing wind, the deck shuddering beneath your feet as you rise into the sky. My memory may be faulty, but that was an experience I'm sure I'd not soon forget. So this is Gridania? Seems very unlike the city we just left. Where to begin? I think it best if I follow your lead. Yes! Come, Clive, with me! Let me show you all of the strange things that are about in our world. For example, that bunny man running up the steps right there. Or these people. One of them seems to have demon horns. Don't ask me how that works out. This tavern me of somewhere I've been before. No, it's no use. I can feel the memory, but it's like grasping at smoke. Maybe if you were to show me somewhere else. Or how about that cat woman right there? Or that cat woman. Or that one. Or that cat girl. Or that cat girl. There's a lot of cat girls. It's a great place. That one seems to be wearing your outfit! You see, if I don't with Clive, just how much better Clive's model is compared to you. Alright, fair enough. Come here, Clive! Folded arms. Only real men do it. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the difference. Yeah, his shade, the shading on his face is better. The details in the hair are better. Yeah. That looks really good. Even the details in the armor look better, like the textures and stuff. Yeah. Two dorks. Takes one to know one. Enough time has passed. This is truly a beautiful place. Taking a liking to Kadanya then? I do like what I've seen of it. it. Seems a peaceful life here among the trees, only I just can't shake the strangest feeling. As if it's too peaceful. That doesn't sit right. Yeah, for him it's certain. Patrol reporting, Commander! All is quiet with the Ixel! No sightings of Garrod! Oh, you... Oh, no. Which we are profoundly grateful. At ease, soldier. Oh, no. Did he 
saying, Garuda? Oh no! You there, this Garuda you speak of. Sir, are you all right? Uh, Crimson, do you know this gentleman? Ah, just met him. Just met him. Seems to be having a case of the cloud. Memory loss, you say? Yeah, that. I'm sorry to hear that. It seems G Garuda's name is lit a spark of some sort. I was in battle with Garuda. I fought her, I'm sure of it. Please, you must tell me more. Anything that might help me remember my past. Uh, of course. Uh, Gritania owes a debt of gratitude to any who stood against that destructive fiend. However, there's, there is one more suited to the task than I. Our Elder Seed Seer is well versed not only in primal lore, but also in the treatment of bodily afflictions. She is surely your best hope for recovery. I will send word ahead to Still Glade Fane. Stand ready to escort our guests to an audience. I'm stuck, Commander. So we call with the address. It's like that with any time you talk to the uh, grant to the um, grant companies. It's like that with any of them. I'm quite used to it. Pray find me at Nofka's altar in Old Gridania, and I will see that you are granted granted entry to the Lotus Strand. Of course, he would remember. Well, of course. This, Clive, is a massive table, surrounded by- Oh, hi. Greetings, honored guests. Hi, girl! Ooh. Commander Hilu. Hilwa has apprised me of your friend's condition. This is he. Pleasure to meet you. I am Kane Sena, Elder Gr Elder Seed Seer of Gridania. I thank you for your gracious welcome. I am Clive, but beyond that, I fear my introduction may be lacking. Please concern it, concern yourself not with the proprieties. It is your memory loss we are here to address. I'm told if Garuda's name awakened some previous recollection. Yes. Instant I heard it, a hazy vision of battle rose up by Bitten. Biden, Bitten, yes. I think perhaps if I could hear more of Garuda. A wish easily granted. Garuda is the deity revered by the Ixar, a people who once dwelled here in the Dwell's Wood. She appears as a winged entity, half bird, half woman, who commands the wind itself. Most frightening, however, is her capricious temper, as unpredictable as a howling storm. I should add that Crimson has fought against Garuda in her primal incarnation. Yep, that was me. A winged woman of volatile temperament, with power over the wind. Fitting description of the opponent I remember. But deity. No, 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 mind. That monstrous visage was distinctly mortal. Hmm? I suspect Clive's Garuda and Eorzea's Primal are not one and the same. Hi, Yoshi P. What's up, Johnny? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you again. Mainly as Clive is not of our world. I explain yourself, minstrel. I went back to where we discovered Clive and questioned folk in all nearby settlements. Not one person recognized his description. Such a distinctive tattoo escaping the notice of every local rumor monger of moms or mount from alms around? Improbable to say the least. That led me to consider another possibility. 
One consistent with past accounts, I have heard of visitors from other worlds somehow stumbling through reality's curtain and finding their way to our star. Balva confirms it. Oh, it, oh yeah, it's happened multiple times. Happened with lightning, happened with Noctis. Thank you, Omega. My brand. It's it's the mark of a bearer. Yep, Shantota, that's right. Does it pain you to remember? I feel the memories trying to surface. My strange recall of piercing ringing fills my ears. Garuda, Bera, Ifrit. Another primal's name. It would seem the pain is a less than tangible source. Long have I studied the healing arts, yet I sense no shadow of illness in your body. Your suffering stems not from injury nor sickness. The victims of terrible events have been known to suppress their own memories out of instinct. One subconscious denies attempts to confront the awful truth, the mind creating a shield of pain to protect the heart. My own, of my own making? How then am I to overcome it? With our aid, of course. Fate has brought us together. Together we shall triumph over this adversity. Poor Clive. <laughs> so, you think me from another world? And my memories of said world are not like to return unless I acknowledge some terrible truth. Ah, yes. Yes, indeed. Lovely inspiration. <laughs> truth my mind refuses to remember. It is a confounding dilemma, I agree. I have given thought to a solution. I believe that the shackles which bind your mind may yet be struck off in the heat of battle. A drastic measure, perhaps, especially when not at your best. Which is why I turn to you. You are the twin to Clive's wandering star. Your involvement is no accident. The path I see is thick with thorns. If you have the will to walk it, then gird yourself for war and await me at Apkulu Falls. To Apkulu Falls. This place... Why here? Because this waterfall is where the legendary Archon Louis Swa gathered a band of adventurers in the time of the Seventh Umbral Calamity. Their purpose, to extinguish the infernal Ifrit. Ifrit! <laughs> if something is there, I just... Why can't I remember? That light came on just as he was thinking. That was funny. Clive recalled several birds in the hell to eat seed seer's presence. Ooh. It was brought in pain. When the significance of bearer eludes me, you and I are more than familiar with Ifrit. Considering your reaction is the to the mere mention of the name, it is likely that primal. Or it's equivalent in, equivalent in your world. It's deeply connected to your condition. Thus have I resolved to weave my lyrical magics and bring you face to face with the Ifrit of our world. Here, where Archon Louis Soir paved an ethereal path to the primal's lair, will my words be given substance. Within the vision which takes form will you do battle with a phantom of our mind's creation. Imaginary though this confrontation may be, I fear your suffering will be all too real. But you must persevere, for your hidden truth will not be unearthed without hardship. Take heart, Scarlet Star. Call upon the strength of your shining twin. Your past awaits. I got you, buddy.
Oh. Oh, man. I've been here in a while. Where has he sent us? To hell! You stand in the bowl of embers. Bowl of embers. The site where the Amalgia summoned their patron deity. And the stage upon which the warrior of light became a slayer of gods. Tis but convincing illusion. The body of recounted tale given breath by fanciful verse. Yes, that's the bow. I am in the bowels, yes. Come forth, Lord of the Inferno. Hey, we're in the bowel of something there. For example, Dark Souls. Hello, you freak. Been a while, buddy. Accurate, fence man. Yet not quite the Ifrit you know. No, not quite the same. Oh! Yeah, I don't recognize that one. <laughs> there he is. God damn, they rendered him so well into this. Lose some weight, more like bulk up. Find out who I am. That's the thing which killed Joshua. Yes, I've been on its trail, seeking vengeance for my brother. This fee must pay. Fight with me, Crimson. Oh, sure, I'm a gut him good. Let's go. Brought it in from 16. That's pretty cool, man. Okay, good. They're right there. Excuse me. Got a prep here. That's badass. Badass.
No need. I have my own. Actually, I'm going to dodge this one on purpose. I can't dodge that one on purpose. Or maybe I could have. I don't know. Maybe I could have done that without the marker. I don't know. I wonder. I wonder if I can time it without the marker. Can't. Little late there. Okay. Interesting. Oh, hang on. Uh. Oh, okay. I can do that. There you go, buddy. All right, let's go. I did it. Did it again, nice. Can I do it again? A little slow, that's okay. <laughs> Had the precision strike ready, but not the dodge. That was cool.
Uh oh. Oh, that was. Oh, did you see that? That was cool, man. Cannot time it. Hold up. A little too late there. with you. There we go. Woo, he's picking up. There we go. All right. How's this going to end? Love this. Oh, I love this callback. You are not a breeze. Hell yeah! There it is! God damn! Hell yeah, dude. Love it. God damn. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I love that. Go buy a PS5 and play Final Fantasy 16 now. Battle against your own mind. It seem you have merged with the victor. Intriguing. Dargal! It's a very good boy! Oh my god. It's a very good boy. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, it was simple, but you know what? It was fun. That was fun. And, and a great, just great stuff they implemented from 16. That was fun. Yeah, so they do have voice acting. Torgal. That's right. That's right. The illusion is unraveled. You brought a friend back with you. The best boy. This is Torgal, a wolf pup raised in the duchy. There's no more loyal ally in battle and no keener guide when the road ahead is uncertain. 
That's right. Pet the best boy. That's right. <laughs> that would explain the apparition in the lingering ether. Toggle is here to lead you back to your own world. Clive has embraced his harrowing past, and in doing so, reclaimed the memories he lost. Though not a conscious act, he has manifested his readiness to return home in the form of a trusted companion. Even so, it was difficult to accept what I'd done. <gasps> I'll say no more. <laughs> My younger brother, Joshua, was a kind and gifted soul. Inheritor of the Phoenix's flames. He was destined to become Archduke, as our father had before him. But Joshua was murdered. His bright future cut short. <laughs> From that day onwards, I lived for one purpose alone. The dominant of fire had slain my brother, and I would have my revenge. I spent years tracking that killer, until one day, I came to understand it had been me all along. I was young and distraught when I first summoned Ifrit. I had known such power lurked within me, that it could even exist at all. The transformation was instinctive, uncontrolled. It was by my hand that Joshua died. I can but imagine the anguish this caused you. There was anguish, yes, and a guilt I will never escape. But I cannot let it stop me. I was born the vessel of Ifrit's power, and I need to know why. It was in search of answers that I went to Phoenix Gate and delved into the ruins below. There I found the courage to face my past and accept the truth, and then everything faded to black. Hmm, no tale suggests it's something in the ruins, some mysterious force was responsible for your inadvertent journey. And if you arrived in Eorzea from a place sacred to the Phoenix and its flames, then it stands to reason. Yes, what are you thinking? I am thinking that to see you home, then we must return to the beginning. Our road takes us back to the Burning Wall. Once there, your furry comrade will lead us exactly where we need to go. Follow the snoot. And that's where 14 fits into 16's timeline. That's right. All during that little moment right there. It works. It works. It works. I feel like... So 14 is canon to 16. In the moment that Clive blacked out in that particular moment in 16. Yes, in that moment. Some naysayers may say otherwise, but you know what I say to the naysayers? I say nay.
I will not be joining that fate. No, thank you. Which people can claim their Warrior Light and Clive totally switched. Oh my god. Come this far now. Torgo will be our guide. Such was the purpose of his creation, after all. Ready, Torgal? Take me home. Bork! Follow that good snoot. It would mean 14 could be canon to all Final Fantasies. I mean... I mean... Said boy. Good answer. The tale ends where it began. When you first found me? Indeed. I was baffled as to why this, of all places, would serve as a junction between our two worlds. But now I think I understand. You do. Some years ago, yours here was visited by cataclysmic disaster known as the Seventh Umbral Calamity. Yet even as fire and ruin threatened all we held dear, the world underwent a mystical renewal. It was as if the star was reborn. And it was. And it was. One theory attributes the miracle to benevolent entity, claiming that the undying phoenix flared into being to save us in our hour of dire, direst need. Something like that. The Phoenix. The burning wall itself is a scar left by those events. Its crystal ridges having erupted from the earth overnight. Some believe these monoliths of solidified flame to be proof of the Phoenix's deliverance. The bond for your brother, the Phoenix of your world in the connection which brought you to this sacred place of ours. Drawn to the flame. It seems our time together is at an end. Thank you both for all you've done. Press on, friend. No matter how daunting the hardship, or bitter the truth. Always, no matter what fate awaits at journey's end. Ha! <laughs> Too soon! Come, Torgal. We have answers to seek. Valisthea awaits. God, this makes me want to go back and play 16 again. It was so good. God, it was so good. Then he was gone. I feel the stirrings of a ballad. It would be hubris to imagine I could capture Clive's story from so fleeting an exit. That honor belongs to someone else. Someone privileged to see his tale to its conclusion. Sadly, the power to peel into other worlds was not granted to me by this day's miracles. I wonder, however, if you might manage it. <laughs> hint, hint! Get a PS5! By Final Fantasy 16, it's the plug within the plug. <laughs> Just say it. Buy my game. Hey, it works, right? <laughs>
You know, there is a lot of time between now and dawn, Trill. You got plenty of time. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh, man. Love it. I love it. Our little adventure is over. Set in motion as it was at but by a dream most cryptic. Must thank you for indulging my sudden and strange request. As for your promised reward, I hope this is sufficient. Torga proves that a trustworthy guide that I thought to bind his likeness to a summoning whistle. May his loyal spirit serve you well on your travels. Till we meet again. And we will meet again. Yoshi P. Director of Final Fantasy XIV. Thank you for getting permission from Yoshida-san, Director of Final Fantasy XVI. <laughs> and now the MGP grind begins. Found the flame. Love that achievement. I, 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 I. First things first. According to the Maundering Minstrel, the beast who appeared to aid the stranded Clive was a guided spirit born of its master's memory. So impressed was the ever insightful musician by this creature, he decided to create his faithful Fimis dude in hopes that it might serve as your loyal companion. Let's see. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, you damn right they picked that one. You damn right he picked that one. Oh, hell yeah. There was no other one you could have gone with. Wait. They really thought of everything. No. Oh, they really thought of everything. Damn, that looks good. But wait. I need to be better lit. Hold up. No. No, 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 no. Let me just move closer to here. <laughs> okay. Here's what I really need to see. That dies really well. That dies really well. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Dies extremely well, yeah. Can't wait for the two die. Can't wait for the double die system. Someone just yelled out, Oh my god, you can pet him! <laughs> That's cool, man. Well, that was a great little event right there. I tell you what. Dual die is going to be nuts. Yeah, it is. 